Hello everyone, this is Bentley out in Kent, Washington. Today we're doing something a little different. Just a quick jaunt around the fish room. See the guppy horde. Hoping, waiting for food. Then of course the, the plants are coming in very nicely. Uh, we've added some stuff, of course, but you guys have probably seen that. Uh, but you can see like the, the Stragrind Reppens down there is doing real good. I still gotta find a good solution to deal with the little bits of Blackbeard that are in here on my uh, Java Fern, but my my best solution is a little too aggressive, which would be a Florida Flagfish. Um, so we're trying some like small doses of Excel, things like that, we'll see if we can kill it off. Uh, the Franz Stoffel Sword in back, you can see running up there is a big child plant. We actually had that flower uh, two days ago. The flower only lasted about 12 hours, and we were lucky enough to get a couple pictures of it on my Instagram. Uh, let's see here. Let me zoom in just a little bit. You can see those crypts in back are coming in real nice. And these crypt pygmaea closer up front have actually been doing really well. Uh, the clinopodium brown eye that's behind this focusdamon octopus is doing real nice. It's almost about time to trim it. And in the back, there's some uh, corkscrew val. It's taking its sweet time, but that's fine. And then these, these lilies, man, these things are sweet. Um, you can see they got that really cool kind of yellow-orange hue. And they spread by runner, so we really only had two plants, and you can see there's four now. Uh, I had a bunch of little baby Madagascar laces in this thing growing out. Those all went to Gary Lang. Just as a, both a thank you for his trip, and also he was looking for some that were a self-fertilizing strain, which mine is. And you can see the, come over here to the plant for profit tank early morning. That's getting a little, little jungly. Even though I cleared a bunch of stuff out, it's getting a little jungly. So I've got to do some more trims this weekend. One thing I'm going to do a video on here shortly, I'm going to show you guys. We're going to spool up here. So this is Ludwigia panthenol, and I want to show you this. If you look at this stem right here, I pull it out of the water a little bit. You see all these little baby stems. Oh, all these baby stems here. Uh, Joel Corvus Oskin has done a video on a trick on how to do that. Um, I know the same trick, so I'm going to do a short video on it. Uh, but I'm going to do it with the Pantanol, as opposed to he did it with uh, Phobus Daemon Stellatus Octopus. And of course, we got some AR finally like hitting its its true height, where it's starting to come out of the water. And it looks kind of cool uh, in this like pseudo-immersed. Um, you can see it's just growing. That just means i got to trim. Eventually, yes, it does grow so tall it comes out. Over here is a kind of rare Phobus Daemon. This is Phobus Daemon Kimberly. And the easy way to tell is from, you can see this purple in the stem. Uh, and then that can get anywhere from like a purple to bright red hue, it just depends on uh, light and furts. Mine tends to stay purple. Uh, there's actually like a real big stem of it down here in this corner. I have to apologize, I'm using one hand right now so I can, my camera's a little shakier. Well, we got that. And then, of course, uh, we'll kind of far shot to the side of that. You've got the, sorry for my hand there. Uh, those are all the young rainbows. You can see all the fasciata calibirus are getting pretty big. You can actually see them motoring around in there. Oh, I forgot. We have like one little like lone cherry shrimp in the back here that uh, somehow lived from a tank that I thought I'd lost everybody. So he's kind of on cleanup crew for the uh, Lenai Wapogas when they hatch. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Got the Zebra Pleco tank. They're just kind of hiding out. You can see the one, one little boy down there. The rest are all just kind of hiding, doing what Zebra Plecos do. And then uh, we can come over this way for Leopold Eye Angels. And the other plant tank, this one uh, really needs some uh, hardcore trimming. I gotta do a lot of work on this bad boy over the weekend. But yeah, that's the major update, guys.
see some of the eggs there. So that is the Illinois Pogas. Below that, with two species in this tank for now. They'll get moved if I have to. Oh, I just came on. Pogadopsal rod eye and Goldie eye to Kai. Beside that is Running River. And we actually had a baby in that hatch. I don't know if you can see it. Beside that is some Uter Bozeman eye. And finally, a Cali Bibru. That tank right now is empty just because of snails. But we'll get something. Oh, there's actually, I'm sorry, there's a little like baby four to flag fish that uh, is raising up in there that we found. And then we come this way. So we got two rings Maculosis and Parva. And then inside. You can see them swimming around. There's two pairs of the Chalatharina fasciata ongolo. That's the chameleon rainbow. These are super cool when they color up. Their the light's not on quite yet, but um, they've been great. We're gonna start breeding those. Pretty much as soon as we can, we're gonna try a, a little experiment to see if they'll just naturally throw eggs in those plants. These are the Bowmanai, so Bowman's Rainbow Fish. Uh, this one isn't labeled yet, but we'll fix that. There we go. First hatchers. These are the Running River Rainbow. A rainbow that was nearly extinct because some people let the wrong species of rainbow into their natural habitat. It's either that or they somehow got washed there. It's pretty unlikely until some scientists saved them and moved them slightly further up uh, past a waterfall to help protect them but they are one of a few Australian rainbow fish species that are nearly extinct. And now, folks like myself get an opportunity to help not only raise them, but save them. You can see we got quite a few swimmers. This is the first day of hatching. I had three this morning. Oh, there's much better focus. How about that? Look at that. Look at them. This is day one. You can tell just how tiny they are. Look at the little bubbles coming off the water. And these are just roots of an Anubia-sized plant. And you can see just how tiny they are. Look, little, little pencil streaks. And that's something. Thank you everyone for checking out this video. It's a little different than usual. Um, I wanted to end this just by going through the adults of what these fish will grow up to be so that you can see um, something more than just some eggs. But um, I, I shot this a little differently than usual. This was literally me in the morning, right before I'm leaving for work, uh, quickly kind of narrating uh, using my cell phone, uh, just what's going on in the fish room as uh, we've just gotten all these amazing rainbows from Gary Lang. And uh, my, my goal will be to do... Uh, Plenty of videos showing you as these raise up, but more importantly, you'll have another um, video more in my normal style with a voiceover uh, coming this weekend to give you a lot more details on each of these species uh, and exactly, uh, I guess you'd say kind of the craziness that was um, <laughs> getting this many fish and, and being prepared for it, uh, as well as a little bit of details, like I said before, on um, how to propagate some of those plants. So those are coming up in the next two videos the the next one immediately this weekend will be specifically on all the rainbow fish to give you a little bit more information as always thank you guys so much for watching uh i really hope you're looking forward to this stuff as much as i am because i'm absolutely geeking out thank you so much have a good one